now it's time for our Good to Know, where we share community events. And as I mentioned earlier, Riverside County is currently in the more restrictive purple tier, so it's still very important that we all follow COVID-19 safety guidelines. But don't worry, it's still possible to have a fun Halloween. The California Department of Public Health suggests finding drive through events where you don't have to leave the car. Well, the good news is, is that's happening right here. JDS Creative Academy is holding a drive through Halloween Spooktacular on Halloween Day, 10.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. This event is fun for the entire family. You'll receive a bag of treats that includes a fun haunted studio take-home interactive video experience. Come in your most creative costumes for a chance to win one of five fabulous prizes. The categories are Best Family, Adult, Teen, Child, and even Pet. Can't make it? Then snap a selfie wearing a costume and post to social media with the hashtag JDSCA Haunted Studio. We cannot wait to see your imaginative creations and good luck. Since blood donations are still very much needed, this event is also a blood drive. You can make an appointment through Lifestream Blood Bank. Go to lstream.org slash JDS. Now the fun is free, but monetary and or blood donations are welcome. Go to jdscreativeacademy.org for more information. There are other exciting haunted happenings going on, and here to tell you more is JDS Creative Academy pre-apprentice Aaron Porras. Thanks, Gabby, for this year's socially distant Halloween. What's better than taking the family on a drive-by tour of the best or creepiest dressed-up houses in Riverside County? The City of Temecula's website lists all the Temecula and Marietta homes that enter the city's Halloween home decorating contests. The interactive map will direct you to the winning displays. The harvesting community in Temecula is well known for having some of the spookiest homes in the area. As you drive around, don't miss Balboa Drive where you can check out some very creative Halloween decorations. In the city of Riverside, a home located at the corner of Chapman Place and Magnolia Avenue has been catching notoriety for its flaming Pirates of the Caribbean display. It's so realistic that people have called the fire department. The homeowners will have it up through Saturday. For an immersive haunting experience, check out the Tent of Terror Haunted Maze at 44134 Acacia Avenue in Hemet from 7 to 11 p.m. Those easily frightened or intensely afraid of clowns may want to skip this very scary experience. Attendees are required to wear masks at this event. Be aware of social distancing as you walk through. Keep in mind that some locations may have last minute updates due to changing circumstances. Visit the attractions website and or social media before going to double check that they are open. If you prefer to stay home, you'll be happy to know that many organizations have gone virtual with their celebrations this year. Lake Elsinore Studio 395 Day of the Dead Traditions and Celebrations event will be available to view on their website tomorrow, Friday, October 30th. Artists will show Day of the Dead artwork, explain the altered building process, and perform an expert from a play about the holiday. The good thing about virtual events is that we can join in, no matter where they originate from. The Kate Andrews Pumpkin Prowl broadcast from Kate's Upside Down Halloween. This fun for all ages event includes a range of activities, crafts, musicians, children's entertainers, and a dance party. Register at Eventbrite, then tune in to live stream Saturday, October 31st from 2 to 6 p.m. Back to Gabby for more good to know information. Thanks, Erin. And in an effort to more fully support students who are distance learning, the city of Temecula is installing three Wi-Fi gardens in Rotary Park, Margarita Community Park, and the CRC Amphitheater. Wi-Fi access will soon be available daily from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Now, these hotspots are located in areas covered by security surveillance, surveillance to help ensure the safety of youth using the service. Additionally, the city is partnering with the school district to recruit qualified volunteer tutors. Southern California Edison encourages students to apply for their 2021 STEM college scholarships. 
Every year, SCE awards $40,000 in scholarships to 30 high school seniors who excel in math, science, technology, and engineering to help them become leaders in innovation. Get your applications in by the December 14th due date. Riverside County Department of Animal Services has received a $10,000 grant to help cover the cost of spaying and neutering, as well as other health services for pets. The Animal Solutions Connection Foundation, otherwise known as ASK, has provided these funds specifically to assist residents' pet owners dealing with unemployment or other hardships brought on by COVID-19 lockdowns. If you need assistance with your pet's health, call your nearest county animal shelter. Now, if you're running low on food, stop by Patterson Park in Riverside, where the Parks, Recreation, and Community Services Department will begin distributing produce and non-perishable food items on Tuesday, November 3rd at 8.30 a.m. Funding is by the CARES Act through the Food Resiliency Programs. Each family will receive two medium-sized boxes until supplies run out. Riverside County girls, interested in joining the Girl Scouts? Don't miss the Girl Scouts Virtual Fantasy Fairy Forest Party. Girls from grades K through five who are considering becoming a scout can immerse themselves in fairyland, take part in fairy crafts, and learn about proper outdoor manners. Multiple dates available and details are on Eventbrite. Celebrate with Waves on November 7th from 12 to 4 p.m. at their Temecula headquarters for a Veterans Day barbecue. This event includes refreshments, raffle prizes, and family activities. The Waves Project is a nonprofit established to provide opportunities for veterans with service-related disabilities and their families to experience scuba diving. RSVPs and following COVID protocols are required. Another Veterans Day celebration is being hosted by the 245th Marine Corps at the Last Chance Inn, located in Norco. Enjoy an Italian buffet, face painting, cornhole, and raffle prizes. The fun starts at 1 p.m. on November 7th. And finally, join the Menifee Valley Chamber of Commerce at the Menifee Lakes Country Club on November 13th for the 2020 Annual Patriots Cup Golf Tournament. Sponsorship opportunities are available.